So this is the Buy Cute Bunnies Miku uh, by Jaya Prize and Furyu in the bottom corner there. Um, we've got the Hatsune Miku logo in the top and a close-up picture of her. She's got a really cute like open mouth expression on this. There's some lovely glitter and kind of sparkles going off and the Buy Cute Bunnies uh, logo. So they are doing a couple of these. There's a white version of this one plus another one and there's one of Super Sonico that I have ordered as well. Um, on this side we've got a full pose of Miku um, with her uh, like this lovely like pattern around the outside and um, yeah she looks really good. And there's a close-up on this side as well so she's tilted a bit to the side and um, we can see her arms pointing up. Um, I'm not sure what this says, but it's probably something promotional for this uh, figure. And then on the back, we've got the original illustration this is based on. Um, safety information, as usual. But yeah, she, she looks really cute, so let's uh, pop on and get her open. So, uh, the funny thing about this one actually is if you try and see this on Ami Ami Nail pre-owned, it's above 2,000 yen. I think I paid 1,800 yen. I think I got one of the first ones to go up on Ami Ami pre-owned. Partly because I had my eye out for it. It's one that I really wanted when I'd seen um, a video review online. So let's see. I've got a feeling it's cardboard inside. Um, yeah. So as you can see, no blister pack on this. Um, it does mean I might be able to uh, this box down into a smaller format potentially what's off to the side um, yeah let's open this up a little bit might make it easier there we go okay so she comes in a bunch of bubble wrap so I will be back in a moment once I've got this all open okay so this figure comes in three parts Let's start with the base. So this is a lovely like uh, black base with some nice gold trim to it with the B by cute bunnies B symbol in the middle. It's a little bit tall actually, more than I thought. And there is some writing on the back for who the arts by um, and who owns the uh, rights to Miku Vocaloid series, things like that. Um, we've got the ears which are very cute. And we have Miku herself, who is quite a heavy girl. Um, I'm gonna try and get these ears in first. Oh gosh, try being the key word. Oh yeah. They're a little tough to get in. Oh, I'm scared of breaking them or her. But hopefully. There we go, she went with a click. Oh, she looks adorable. Okay, so let's go with her face first. She's got this really cute expression on her face. The little surprised open mouth with, it's actually indented. Her no nose is sticking out. Her eyes look nice and sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Um, her skin color is really nice. Um, on the back, there's some lovely like details on her buns where the hair has been pulled through. And she's got this little bunny symbol on the back of her head. Um, going down to her body, she's got this really cute little bunny on her collar. And she's got her regular Miku tie. She's got some armbands and then her, the typical cuffs. Her fingers are really well sculpted actually. They look really nice and natural. Um, and the corset kind of tailcoat she's wearing is really nice. Um, there's a nice colour underneath for that. Then um, she's also got this little, uh, kind of like a pom-pom in a way, <laughs> really. It doesn't look much like a bunny thing because there isn't much texture to it, but it still looks pretty good. And then the tights themselves are real tights, so I don't know if you can see that shift on camera. That feels really nice on her. Um, there is quite a big seam line down the back, but you aren't really going to see that. And uh, her butt is really well sculpted as well, let's, uh, let's be real here. Um, the shoes, I love the shoes on this. They're gorgeous. I love the colour blue. It's one of my favourite colours. So I'm just going to pop her in this base. Oh, she's a little bit wobbly. 
but uh, hopefully pretty good. Yeah, so she looks absolutely stunning for the price, to be fair, like most bunny figures are hella expensive. Um, she's about 31 centimeters, I believe. Um, and she, for 1,800 yen, she was a bargain for me. Um, but yeah, if you happen to be able to pick her up, I would recommend it. She looks pretty good. She is a bit wobbly, but um, otherwise pretty nice. So I will take some nice shots of her in a second. See you then.